Thank you all for having me out here today. Thank you for you coming out here today. I'm Tim Cardo. I'm on the co-founder of the Teacock Bowl along with my son Jacob Fondo. I want people to know what the Teacock Bowl was. It was a special game that we started back in 2000, my son Jacob and I, because he saw the camaraderie that both the high schools, Gilpine High and Sacred Heart, had among themselves, and we wanted to make it something special. And it was something special. But we just thought it'd be a fun game. But Jesus thought it was something special, and he came and he kissed it. And it came, the game went far beyond on what we thought it would become. And everything was going good. And then a snake entered our Garden of Eden. And it wasn't among the kids, it was among the adults. And that snake was included racism, it included greed, love of power, and hate of, hatred of competition. And I'm not gonna point fingers. This was, I was in charge of the game, so I take the blame for this. I take the blame. So our game was dead for four years. And then those four years, I feel very uncomfortable about that. And my wife said, Susie told me, God is protecting us from something. And in those four years, we had a lot of racial unrest in our country, a lot of division. But now, we have a hunger. We have a hunger that we know unity is better than disunity. And God is a just God, but he's also a merciful God. When you have talents and you don't use them, he takes them away. That's his justice. And we weren't using them like he did. We should have. But in his mercy, he can give it back. And so, we have an early Christmas present, Bill Platt. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, as of 2017, the tea cotton bowl is back. Woo! God has a sense of humor. He'll pick two people that look exactly alike to be good friends, to be best friends. We're different, and that makes us stronger. We're the same in a lot of ways, and that makes us stronger. So because of these coaches and the administration, the principals, the uh, pastors, the superintendents, we got our game back starting the opening game of 2017. One thing that I learned that was good that came out of the four years where we did have the game, every football player that I talked to from Sacred Heart and Bill Platt High, whether you won all four games or you lost all four games, the brotherhood of the bowl was there. They said winning didn't matter. We just want to play. That's why they call it a game. And that is even higher than winning. Because that means you're going to play as hard as you can play every single down just because you're playing your friend, your brother. I don't know if people know this, but the night before the game, we'd meet together and we'd pray together, both teams, pray for the other guy to play his best. That means you have to be better. Just like the scripture, iron sharpens iron, men make men better. We make each other better, both on and off the field. And that was true, and it will be true again. There will be some differences, though. One thing, I'm saying right here, right now, the number one reason for me to do everything I do for this game is to honor Jesus Christ. Now, if somebody has a problem with that, they have a problem with me teaching the kids to respect each other no matter what color, what creed, what background you come from, how much money you have in the bank, who's your mama, who's your daddy. If they have a problem with that, take the game away. You took it away before, and it won't hurt you to take it away. But this is how I'm going to stand on that game. Now, there's right, other reasons. Right. And the coaches will get to that for other reasons. That's my main reason. Second thing that's going to be different, in that time I waited, God told me, to do less, but supervise more. So I'm challenging the community of Ville Platt. I need you 
If you want this game to be not as good, but better than it was before, I need you. I need your talents, I need your time, I need your money, I need you. I need people to come out and pony up. Spend some money to maybe get New Jersey. I need to promote the game. When you have a talent, you don't hide it under a bush, you put it up on the land stand. This game is not only good for Bill Pride, this game is good for our country. And that's why God's given us back. You gotta be bold. If you play the game the way it's supposed to be played, fellas, you'll honor Jesus. You'll honor your school, you'll honor your opinion. I'm gonna be the H-M-I-C, the head man in charge. I will answer to the principals, both the principals and the schools and the administration. I will do nothing to dishonor the schools, and I will do nothing, I will do everything in my power to honor them. But I will answer to them, and then everything else will answer to me.